Hello lords and ladies, I am the mighty Gammon, and I'm about to fight the Taliban in the Siege of Paris DLC for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Are you ready to join me on this journey? You are! <laughs> We arrived in Melun, the largest melon plantation in Francia, to meet the Norse chieftain. His name is Clive the Swollen. Clive. The Franks had killed Clive's brother and their former Jarl, so naturally he wanted revenge. He didn't care how many tins of beans had to be sacrificed to achieve this goal. Betrayal. We were attacked preemptively by Engelwen, who is the size of a small child. However, just like a child, this bishop could be silenced by running him over with a horse. I forced to procure said horse in what can only be described as the dullest ambush in video game history. I had two guys and an Irish wolfhound that I'd smuggled past border control versus less francs than I could fit in a baguette, because they're French. <laughs> the knights on horses could barely turn enough to hit me. They hit their own men more often than I did. The bishop escaped. By the way, look at this cool picture I took in the longhouse. Pretty amazing, isn't it? This video is sponsored by your mum. These animals are not realistic at all. I'm just gonna stick with my bear. That's a classic French mount. I rode out to help some Frankish rebels or something. I, I don't know, I was too distracted by the absolute cake on that bear. That boy thick and that boy do be having me feeling some kind of way. After realising that the rebel missions were basic cookie cutter side missions, I returned to my bear for some stress relief. This was one way to bring Welsh culture to France, I was just missing a sheep and a bucket full of industrial grade lube. The vistas were just like England, only somehow more flat and uninteresting. <laughs> I stumped him so hard he teleported to the floor. Where's Harvey Price? What have you done with him, you sick f Please don't tell mom! As I entered the southern slums of Paris, a horrible realisation fell upon my mind. This awful, decrepit, disease pit of a place managed to get even worse in 2021. Wow, an aqueduct. Ha! That won't stop Paris from getting aqua f rats. Hardly a threat to the greatest Viking in Europe. Oh, I did some fetch quests to get the key to a church where Bishop Engelwin was carrying out something called the Deliverance. This consisted exclusively of torture from what I could gather. After throwing on my swanky new Christian robe, I made my way downstairs excitedly for my BDSM session. I mean my holy deliverance session. Come. That's why I'm here, boy. Are we gonna do this or what? You, you've been talking for half an hour. Where did my clothes go? This keeps happening. What is it with these churches? Welcome to London, bro. Suck your mum. I do not envy the cleaners right now. I found myself in a room with some gorgeous nuns and Jabba the Hutt. The vile creature lay there, becoming larger by the second until it- Oh, wait a minute, that's the king. Charles the Fat asked me to save his wife from a shadowy organisation called McDonald's. The options were to save his wife or have him kill more of my people. As funny as the latter option was, I figured the queen might be hot, so I went searching for her instead. Once I realised I had no idea where I was going, I stopped at a church to ask the kind folk for directions. Who disturbs our worship? Merde. It's a northern one. They unfortunately passed away before I could get any information. Oh guys, lucky they already have these graves here. What? I almost forgot I was playing the Assassin Creed. Finally, some fresh air. Oh god, help! Help me the wolves! They're, they're attacking! The legends were true. The chicken of Christ is real. He's using his divine energy to stop me entering the church. How can one man fight such power? I'm too weak. I surrender. Don't hurt me, chicken! You can f me! I'll let you f Oh, I can just walk past him. All those years of eating fried chicken have paid off. The graphics in this game are so good. Let's appreciate them up close. Oh. oh, the rat. oh no! So I've got to distract these rats to get the treasure. I can do that. <laughs> Stupid rats. Thinking you could outsmart a human. Oh my god. Oh. You see, if you hit them with your swords, they can't attack you. This is how you get the treasure. Mother nature has lost. Oh, you bastard rats. You're ruining the game. Yes! You alright guys? Having a sit down are we? Oh what the f- It was clear I needed to bring the pain to deal with the crazy Frankish people. So I swapped my sickles for a one handed sword and a giant scythe. The scythe being held in just one hand absolutely did not break my immersion of the game at all. I came across a knight who called herself the Cavalier. She was in the middle of nowhere doing absolutely nothing, so when I arrived her boredom compelled her to attack me. I think she was a witch because her presence broke the game's frame rate, among other sorcerous acts. I have you now. Oh, what is this? 
Get me out of this place. Get down from there, demon. Go back to the abyss with the Ubisoft employees who made this f DLC. I finally killed this random boss who didn't affect the story in any way and moved on with my life. I had found my next target, Euphrasia, a rogue nun who also liked to torture people for what I can assume was no reason. He touched me so that now I might touch you. Well, if you insist, love, <laughs> Killing the bitch in the middle of a mass would have been a dishonorable course of action. So I sought out the location of her evil lair of evil. I arrived. I convinced the handmaid to let me into the deliverance chamber by dipping a sacrificial knife into a massive vat of goat's blood. This was still easier than trying to get past a Weatherspoon's bouncer with a water bottle in London. It seemed the queen was being held there by Euphrasia and about to be tortured like everyone else in Frankia it seems. I wonder if the Dark Eldrin Warhammer were inspired by early French people. I delivered the knife to her. This nun was blissfully unaware that her assistant had grown by over a foot, switched from female to male and had found a full set of Celtic armor lying around. Oh, what? No. 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 What the hell is that? The queen was safe for now, and as a bonus, she was taking me to see a surprise. I was very excited to see what she had in store for me. It hadn't even been a day, and she sprung a child on me. I swear these things are supposed to take nine months. This was some Amazon Prime child. Just gonna get this key off you? Oh, hi. Turn around, please. I just want to steal the key. Just give me the key. Turn around. Turn around! Thank you. Was that so hard? I brought the queen back to Shrek so we could continue our peace talks. He betrayed me immediately. You bastards will pay for what you've done. Ah! Of course I had to equip dual short swords when I got the second one because I'm an unreasonably epic gamer. These are epic. Yeah, boy! Don't have a cow, man. <laughs> what have I done? Oh. Take this heathen. Die. Perish. I will bum you. <laughs> what a lovely morning. My grand adventure brought me to northern Paris, which actually had walls, unlike the slums. Why Why don't the poor people just build walls? Time to actually assassinate someone. Hey, Never mind. Go help your friend, mate. Yeah, didn't expect that. Oh, for f Sake. Whilst harassing women at the local party, I realized the leader of the Frankish army, Count Odo, was nearby. He was literally just upstairs. We enjoyed a drink together, despite the fact he could have easily poisoned my one. For an assassin, Eivor is incredibly trusting of some guy he has never met before who also happens to be his people's sworn enemy, but I'm sure the writers thought of that. Alright mate, calm down. Never calm calm my it, right. son. Have peace. Trying to have a civil Not conversation here and you keep- no Alright, f*** off then. As revenge for the crap drink I was given, we strolled into northern Paris and took their garrison. That would teach those infidels to give me a pint of that Carlsberg piss. We only drink real beer here, like 1% strawberry IPA from a brewery that probably doesn't even exist. I needed to show everyone that I could take Paris down, so they would let me use the brothels for free. So I tried to prove my strength by attacking this random cow. Take this, you idiot cow. No, get off me! Oh, what do you mean? The cow is so massive. What are you doing with it? Why is it so high level? I can't do it. Ah, oh, my fuck. Oh, Through my limitless cunning and guile, I attract the Ham Planet to an old coliseum in the middle of nowhere. The perfect place to hide from a normal assassin, but I am no ordinary assassin. I'm disabled. Confronting him only made things worse. He refused to listen to reason and demanded I bring a child to him on the battlefield. I accepted because I hate children and this fat munter would eat me if I didn't feed him someone else. The conversation was over. Whether I struck a deal with the pork merchant or not, only one thing thing was for certain. The attack on Paris was now inevitable, and I was ready. The siege will begin, and Paris will fall in part two of my Siege of Paris experience.